What's going on guys? Gibbs is back with a special announcement of the Rocket League Championship Series. Dionix has just uh, released this info today, and by doing so, they've basically just dropped the mic. Done. That's it. This is what we've all been waiting for. $75,000 prize pool every three months. Absolute insanity. This is going to be great. We're gonna, probably going to see a lot of teams flip-flop around now trying to get solid rosters. This all starts very soon. So let's go through it and look through their site since uh, that's where we're at, basically. So it's going to be open qualifiers. That's the main thing. Anyone can join this and have a chance at the $75,000 prize pool. And it's going to be three-month seasons. I'm not sure if they're going to put them back-to-back, -back, but we'll go over that in a bit. So it's pretty simple. Nothing too crazy. You just grab two friends and form a three-person team, you know, blah, blah, blah. Uh, it's registration starts March 25th. I assume it'll start mid-April, maybe late April. I doubt it'd be early April because I would think they would want signups to be open for a while. Um, so we don't have a lot of information about this yet. Like the format shows here a little bit. Um, it shows a 10K prize pool for the qualifiers and stuff. But there's not much that we know yet. Like all we know is that there's going to be one weekend, I assume. I assume all this is on weekends. So week one is open qualifier. I assume it would be a bracket, maybe a double like elimination bracket, and a certain amount of teams, like maybe top 32, say, go into the group stage, and then they play a two-week group stage. So maybe you play like two or three matches against people, depending on the size of your group, and then you'd probably have like top, th top four from a group come out and go on to play in the uh, probably again a double... Um, elimination bracket i'm not sure for the one week online finals and uh so the finals are gonna be 10k and but i assume the qualifiers are for specific regions like because it's only north america and europe for this and top four for north america and top four from europe go on to the international final which we'll talk about later but that basically means that the qualifiers are probably separate um, so it might be what I'm assuming is like qualifier one, both regions are doing it at the same time or roughly the same time. It'll probably be like an all weekend thing, like shoutcasted, but NA will be later in the day. Europe, uh, will be earlier in the day and you'd probably be battling out for about 5k. I assume it could be wrong. Probably go to like the top four teams, maybe even more, maybe top eight. Like who knows how much they want to spread that around. Uh, I assume it'll be a point system. For qualifier one or if you like win qualifier one you automatically go to the international final um but i think for everyone else it'd probably be like a point system and you'd gain points and go on to qualifier number two and then at the end of that like again qualifier two probably winner uh auto qualifies but everyone else would be like top four uh based on points go on to this international final this is super exciting so we got 10ks two weeks in a row I'm sorry, not two weeks in a row, like two months in a row. And then a little bit of time off, which is probably like two to three weeks. Because if they want to get this done in a three-month time span, well, four weeks is a month, so that's qualifier one. Qualifier two would be uh, the next four months, or four weeks. So that's two months. And then you would have like two or three weeks, maybe, and then you go on to the international final, which would be a live event, which is going to be awesome, like a land event and stuff. That'll be fantastic. For $55,000, the top eight teams will battle it out for that, which should be really fun to watch. Uh, lands should be awesome for Rocket League. I think it'd be, I think it's going to be fantastic. But the only thing, so I have some concerns. One, like, I love open qualifier. Let's see how they seed them. Like, I could see them seeding, like, top 16 from each region, and then the rest are just kind of randomly thrown in, but you do a double loss elimination in case the team has a bad game. Because, like, group stage, I assume, is going to be big. It's probably going to be a lot of teams going to this group stage of probably at least 32, maybe more. I'm not sure. But if you do 32 and you have, like, groups of eight, you can get three to four matches in on a weekend, especially if it's on Saturday and Sunday, um, and play everyone in your group once and then see who comes out, like, top four from each group or something, goes into a bracket style for the online finals. So I hope they make it big enough that like a lot of teams can get in. A lot of teams should have some fun with it. Of course, you'll have the best teams, excuse me, uh, winning. But at least everyone's going to have a chance. And, uh, the th 
and that'll be a lot of fun to watch and stuff. And it's partnered with Twitch, by the way. So it's going to be on Twitch front page probably all weekend. It's going to be great. Like we're going to get tons of viewers, hopefully. And this should be really exciting. But the really exciting thing is, is up here, it said earlier, it said three month seasons. So there's more than just this one. Uh, this is not a one and done type of deal. Uh, so this is going to be going on probably every three to four months. Like I'm thinking they might take a month off after a land. Maybe we'll have three uh, in a year. That's $225,000 going to the Rocket League every single year. Well, who knows how many times uh, they do this. But for now, that's pretty awesome. The only thing I'm worried about is for like an international final. Like if you don't know that, that you qualified until qualifier two is done you only have like two or three weeks to like get either like work visas if you need that or whatever or passports like everyone just make sure like if you think you're going to qualify make sure you have the proper paperwork to travel in case the international finals are not in your country and and all that so hopefully that all gets worked out um but yeah guys this like this is gonna be fun this is gonna be fun to watch uh yeah it's, it's like this is what we we're waiting for from psionics and i'm really excited Especially because it's like a three-month thing. It's like, it's a structured three-month thing, then everyone resets, and we all get to try again. That should be a lot of fun. The viewership should be great, because the Twitch is partnering with it, so I assume, uh, like, Golden Boy and stuff um, are hopped on for shoutcasting and all that stuff, so if you get, like, a prominent shoutcaster that everyone knows and loves, that'll really help as well. But, like, this is just gonna be exciting. I'm I'm really excited to just be a part of this in any way I can, and... Uh, Hey guys, uh, so make sure you check out twitch.tv slash Rocket League. I assume it'll be on that channel when these events start happening. I would look forward about mid-April, but if you want to get in, March 25th is when signups start. But it's open, so uh, there's no limit. So it's going to be some big brackets that first weekend for sure. Uh, but yeah, guys, until next time, I'll see you. But before I go, yeah, just make sure, like, if you guys have any questions for the comments, who knows, maybe I can ask... Dirk or something, or or when they get the format out. Like, I'm definitely going to have questions once format is out. Uh, if you have any questions about the format, let me know. And if I think any of them are, like, like good suggestions or good questions to ask, I'll definitely forward them out to the devs once they're ready to uh, release some more information because I'm a big format guy, and I really want to know exactly how this is going to work. But, yeah, I'm really excited, and I hope you guys are too. And uh, see you next time. Later.